St. Anselm College 3 and the Greyhounds from Assumption College 2. The weather certainly played a factor for both teams, but this is another midweek tilt, you know, two programs that are kind of locked in the, the uh, kind of 6 through 8 slot. So it was a big game for us. Assumption is good. Grace has taken over the program last year and instantly improved them. They were very tough at their place and they were very tough again. Uh, they, they presented a lot of matchup problems for us so we we start the game really bright um, but a lot like Bentley we can't find a way to uh, stretch our one goal lead to two goals and so we struggled a little bit there but you know credit to Assumption they're they're a really good side so I'm, I'm delighted to start October with a win and that we sit now with uh, four wins in the conference which is nice uh, that was our total of all last year so we're looking forward to competing and you know trying to collect some more points as we move uh, towards the end of October. I, certainly, I think familiarity with our field never hurts us. Uh, but I also thought that we were ready to play. I thought we've had a nice week of preparation. We've got some people that uh, were injured, relatively healthy, uh, and I thought our minds were in a good place. So I wasn't surprised by the fast start, and I'm just really impressed that that's, that's the same opportunity that we get on the road at Southern Connecticut to tie the game in the 89th minute and we don't capitalize. So to see us grow a little bit and to be able to find the back of the net on that back corner um, was really impressive. And then again, uh, I like that we generated so many opportunities, but um, you know, if you don't put it in the back of the net, you're creating more work for yourself, which is exactly what happened today. I made a real commitment to try to try to play our roster as deep as possible. We'll get players some minutes because we feel as we march to late October, um, if we're fortunate enough and we do enough uh, work, um, we're gonna have to rely on all of our players. And so, you know, I, I thought Phoebe Alex was great today. I thought Delaney Bartle came in. And these are two players that, you know, as we kind of grow a bit, it becomes tougher to get on the field. And so that's good for the program, but can be tough for players. And so for them to dig in and respond and put together a good performance uh, was great. And obviously Erin had her hands full today. That, that kid scores goals for fun. She's, she's athletic, uh, can play with both of her feet. She stuck one in early on us. She stuck two in on us last, last year. So uh, she, she worked extremely hard to limit um, you know, her opportunities.